Hey, Donald Fender, you know what time it is, man. It's uh, time to share my initial thoughts on the second episode of Prehistoric Planet 2. Um, so this one's called Badlands, and as you can expect, it takes place in some Badland-type areas, which pretty unique concept. It's pretty much like the uh, Deserts episode in Season 1, except, you know, with a different name, but there's some unique environments, of course, which I'll get into, um... Let's just get into it right now, actually. Uh, the volcano, the, uh, all that stuff. That was really cool. Um, you never really, well, you see volcanoes a lot, but you never see them utilized like that, I think. Um, the idea of just, like, a bunch of sauropods migrating th with, like, daily not lava right next to them. I don't know, it's just really cool. Um, other than that, uh, most of the environments otherwise are just deserts. Although the canyons are pretty cool. That was a cool environment. Um, oh, the Isosaurus. The Isosaurus looked really, really cool. I love the designs. And uh, I know this isn't really like something that's... I don't know how to describe it. But it's... I don't know. They just look really cool. I think the patterning and the um, spikes. Okay, this feels like I'm reviewing a dinosaur figure right now. But whatever. Anyways. Yeah, Basically, what I'm saying is the that's the sauropods look great. All right, I think they have a very unique look to them because most of the other sauropods are just like big and plumpy, and there's there wasn't really much to them. Although they did look beautiful, I will say that. Um, but the Isosaurus look really unique, and they stood out, and I love that. Um, oh, the Tarkia. The Tarkia was a big uh, um, part in this, and they were used pretty well. I would say uh, I think it's pretty unique how. Uh, they basically have their own air conditioner. That was pretty. That was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's based on anything. It might be, but either way, it's still like really cool. And um, I think that little, the little scuffle with the uh, what was it? Oh yeah, Pranocephaly and the uh, even the older Tarkia. Yeah, that was done pretty well. Um, and yeah, uh, there's no fighting because you know, animals don't fight that much. And yeah. I think the uh, second Tarkia you know, coming to back them up was pretty good. Um, the Prenocephaly were freaking adorable. Um, but, you know, as expected, it's pretty sorry planet. It's bound to be at least one adorable animal. Um, also, on the topic of Prenocephaly, in the uh, scene where the uh, sauropods going through the canyons, um, so they named them Nemectosaurs, which I was like, oh, cool. They're, uh, Nemectosaurs, but they didn't name the, uh, other Titanosaurs. They just said other Titanosaurs, which I thought was really weird, because, like, don't you want to teach them more? Like, now, I don't even know what species they're supposed to be, but that isn't, that's, like, that's a pretty obvious thing to do, like, just name the Titanosaurs, because I'm still wondering about that, but maybe I'll look it up tonight. Anyways, so, um, let's see. Velociraptors returned, and, uh, with freaking adorable babies, too. There was also the, uh, what was that, the Kurukala, I think it was called? Uh, I think that was cool, because, you know, I never heard of it, and while it did look similar to the Velociraptor, at least it didn't, like, copy and paste it. They could have easily copied and pasted it with the, uh, just, like, fixed features. And that goes the same with some of the babies in this, um, episode, too. Like, there are a ton of babies, and they all looked pretty much different from each other. Uh, which is great, because, you know, just copy and paste it and slap down there, you know, the lazy way. Yeah, so that was pretty cool to see. Um, although, and, uh, oh, the Rajasaurus. The Rajasaurus were freaking awesome in this, dude. I love the Rajasaurus, because Rajasaurus is not really shown in media, so they were done pretty well here. Uh, also, the designs look pretty cool with the fiery red, but anyways, um, oh, the Carithoraptors made a return, now, it was kind of weird to me how they made such a, like, a, a sudden, like, change in environment from a forest to, you know, just, oh, we're in the desert now, but whatever, uh, yeah, so, I think, oh, yeah, and there was a, uh, there was a, a prop, yeah, there was an actual prop used for the Kurthoraptor's rings. I saw that when they were covering up the nest. I saw that. I was like, oh, 
That's a physical prop right there. Good job. But it's mostly CGI in this episode, which, yeah, is expected. With Nowadays, we don't need much physical props, but it's nice to see some, you know, sprinkled in here and there. But, yeah, that's pretty much my uh, opinions on this new episode of Prehistoric Planet. Amazing, spectacular, and, um, yeah, so tomorrow is Swamps, I think. Yeah? Yeah, Swamps. So, that'll be pretty cool to see. Uh, that's about it. See ya. That'll find her out.